Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So a question that I get asked all the time, whether it be in the store, um, on my comments, on Instagram, um, emailed, um, is to compare something with Prince tennis rackets or why don't I do tennis prints? Why don't I do Prince tennis rackets? Or if I can compare a tech stream with something else. Well, I don't do ten I don't do Prince tennis rackets. Why don't I do Prince tennis rackets? I don't do prints, right? As you can see by my wall here, there's no Prince tennis rackets here. Zero, right? You can look up at my bags. I got zero prints here all right so no prints no prints all right if you look at my wall here of done rackets there is no prints here i mean I, I i'll show you the prints i have oh the princes that i have so i have this tour from years ago Whatever this is, I don't even remember what the name of this is. Tor 98, right? I got one of those that I re restrung. I got this Air Drive, it's 8900. And that's pretty old. Here's another one, 03 Blue, right? From back in the day. That's all I got in prints in here and that's from people bringing it to me, right? Do I have T22s down in the shoes? Let's go look. I might have one girl shoe left from eight years ago. Looks like I got one pair left. T22s. Anybody, a girl out there who is a junior, love in pink in a size five, T22. This puppy is eight years old and I've had it since then. So I'm looking for that girl Cinderella, okay? In a size five, who has wide feet, wants this pink T22. You gotta be out there somewhere. Hit me up, all right? But that's all I got in prints. So I don't carry prints. Why don't I carry prints? Why can't I do reviews for you about prints? Why can't I compare rackets for you about prints? Well. There's a long story about this that I'm working on. Um, and that, that video is gonna be called, What Happened to Prince? But this is just a quick, quick uh, explanation from me as to why I don't carry prints now. Now, they went bankrupt uh, years ago. Uh, not that, maybe 2012. But before that, they, um, were in big, big trouble. I mean, they went from being the number one racket with that 03 white, the black, the blue, the red. I mean, four of those rackets were in the top 12 of top selling rackets back then. That was, I'm talking about 10, 12 years ago. So they went from hero at number one to zero real quick, right? But I'll explain that in a different video. But as of today and last year and a couple years before, they are only being distributed by Tennis Warehouse. Again, Tennis Warehouse. None of the other warehouse guys, is, guys carry them either. Look on Tennis Express, look on Midwest. Do they have prints? Probably not. The only other place that I've seen prints is dick sports uh, big five might carry them but those guys the dixes of the world and the big fives of the world are buying them from tennis warehouse so that's why i don't carry them that's why most people don't carry them because we would be buying from a direct competitor not that i have anything uh, against Tennis Warehouse. I mean, those guys are super cool. Um, I just don't need the brand. And it, it's kind of a dead brand now. Ever since they were number one and dropped literally to 
what is it, the number four brand now? The number three, number four? Probably number four or five brand now. Um, there's no reason to carry them. I know a bunch of you love them, uh, especially the player sticks, and they are fine, but there's a reason why only Tennis Warehouse reviews them. There's a reason why they're always in the top five of when Tennis Warehouse reviews rackets as to, oh yeah, the top five spin rackets, oh, the top five control rackets, or the top five 18 by 20 rackets. There's always a Prince in there, isn't there? Right? Why? Because they sell them. Okay? Um, but yeah, that's why I don't carry prints. Um, you know, I don't need them. So that's why. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.